Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to discuss the linked list implementation of the popular data structure Q. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, linked list implementation. So in a Q, we actually maintain uh, two pointers. First one is the front and the other one is the rear. Front basically points to the first item of the queue and rear points to the last item of the queue. So this is basically the uh, the uh, prerequisites uh, when we uh, actually implement a queue. And then uh, we actually have to implement two main operations. Uh, so first, the first operation is the NQ operation and the second operation is the DQ operation. So as you might have guessed, NQ operation is the operation which adds a new node after the rear and then it moves the rear to the next node. So basically it, it, it is responsible for uh, adding a new item to the queue. That's why uh, it starts with N and DQ is actually responsible for uh, removing an element. That is why it starts with D. Uh, so when we implement the NQ using the linked list, so in that case, uh, we first of all add a new node after the rear and then we update the rear to the uh, to this newly added node, which is when which is actually the same as moving the rear to the next node. Whereas in the DQ operation, uh, it removes the front node and moves the front to the next node. So uh, in the DQ operation, we are actually removing the front node and then moving it to the uh, next node. And in the NQ operation, we actually add the new node after the rear and then we move the rear to the next node. So let us see the uh, implementation part. So in this C program is actually demonstrating the linked list based implementation of the queue. So it starts with uh, two header files here, which we will be needing uh, in this implementation. Uh, then we have a structure queue node. Structure queue node is actually uh, the structure which is required uh, at each node. So each node in a linked list will be of the type structure Q node and it will have these basically two elements inside it. The first one will be the key, uh, int key, which is actually the value which is to be stored uh, in this uh, in this node. And then you have a pointer to the next node. So simple enough. So every uh, node in a linked list will actually be a Q node. Then uh, we have a structure Q which is uh, which is basically uh, a structure wherein you'll have the uh, both the front and the uh, rear pointers so uh, you'll be actually having a, a linked list of uh, q nodes and this front and rear of the q will actually maintain the front and the rear val uh, rear pointers so uh, first of all let's look at how do we uh, create a new node? So the function new node takes as an argument uh, the value k, which is of type integer. And it will then create a new node in this linked list. It will not add that node in the linked list, but it will just create a new node. And then it returns the new node. So uh, you create a temporary pointer structure q node start temp and then you allocate it uh, the memory. So we allocate the memory equal to the size of structure Q node. Then we initialize the value of the key with the value which was passed as an argument. So K comes here. So the key becomes K. And then we initialize the next of this, uh, of this temp node as null because the, uh, because we just need to create a new node. We do not need to update its pointers or add it inside a queue. So once we have done uh, all these three steps, then we just return the node temp. Okay, so now let's see another utility function. So this is actually create queue. So what it does is it's uh, creating a, a structure queue star queue. So it creates a pointer to a queue and it also allocates it the memory uh, of the size structure queue. Once that is done, it initializes the 
uh, elements inside this structure the front and the rear with null so it it, it just uh, it is basically creating a new uh, link list uh, new queue in this case so right now it doesn't have any element so we'll actually be adding more elements uh, in this link list when uh, when we return it so uh, when we have done these steps then we actually return the queue which is actually the uh, our queue uh, of the link list implementation okay so uh, now let's look at the uh, important function so one of the important function was nq the other one was dq so let's first start with the nq operation so in this nq operation what we do is we take as an argument the uh, q and the uh, int k so the value to be inserted and the uh, q in which it is values to be inserted so first of all uh, we create a new node so that utility function which created a new node is used here we pass as an argument the value k and we get the new node which is in the which is stored in the variable temp then we check if the uh, q is empty or not so if the q is empty then the new node is the both the front and the rear so if uh, the rear part of the q is equal to equal to null then in that case the front and the rear both becomes temp so both of them will point to basically the uh, temp and then we just return but if the queue is not empty then what we do is we add the new node at the end of the queue and we change just the rear we do not change the front so the uh, element uh, basically the next pointer of the current rear current rear node uh, points to the temp and then finally uh, the rear becomes temp so because it is actually we are actually adding the node temp at the uh, at after the rear so we create this uh, this uh, connection here that the next of the current rear is equal to temp and then we update the rear to equal to temp okay so uh, now let's get to the uh, second function which is very important which is the dq operation so dq operation actually uh, just needs the queue and it will actually return the node which it uh, dqs from the queue so first of all it checks if the queue is empty or not if the queue is empty we cannot do anything we just return null otherwise if the queue is not null then then what it does it stores the uh, basically the uh, pointer basically pointer or if we should say the node itself the node which is at the front it stores it inside the temp and then it moves the uh, value front to the next of the front so we are actually uh, because we dq from the front and nq from the rear so while dqing we actually move the uh, front uh, variable we updated the front variable to the next of the front and we have kept the uh, temporary uh, the, the current front as in the temp then this is basically a check which we need to do that if front becomes null then we change the rear also as null so when we do this if the front becomes null then it means that the link list now doesn't have any element so q is basically empty then in that case uh, to keep it consistent we need to update the rear pointer also so we update the rear pointer to null and then we finally return the temp which is the uh, node which we just dequeued so here we have the uh, driver method wherein uh, we first of all created a queue uh, using the create queue method uh, then we do nq so we nq 10 and 20 then we performed dq operations so and these two uh, operations actually remove 10 and 20 both then we did the nq operation three times we added 30 40 and 50 and then we again did a dq operation now as you might have um, might have guessed that uh, because uh, 10 after 10 20 was added both of them were removed here and then 30 40 and 50 were added so when you do a dq operation here then the element which are inserted the uh, first uh, will come out so that would be 30. now we check if n is not equal to null 
then we print uh, the dequeued element is basically the key of the node which is 30 and that is what we get here as the output that dequeued, dequeued element is 30. Now coming to the time complexity of this solution so the time complexity of both the operations nq and dq is actually order of one as we just change a few pointers in both of these operations and there is no loop involved so that's why uh, the implementation is very fast uh, and it works in the order of one time complexity yeah so that is all for this uh, tutorial thank you very much